Okay, I have my 2004 Mazda 3i here, and I'm gonna be um, showing you how to replace this this emergency brake. <clears throat> and if uh, you have one of these at some point in time, this what happens? This button mechanism will break, and uh, the handle doesn't want to stay up anymore. So it basically makes it useless. So <clears throat> there may be a way of fixing it. I don't know. I haven't really tried to take it apart or anything. I just picked up another one at the salvage yard and it didn't cost me very much at all. <clears throat> so um, I'm just going to be taking this one out and just replacing it. So um, <clears throat> the first thing we, you know, we have to do is we have to start removing all of this. And this stuff just kind of all snaps in here. Um, you just kind of start taking it out piece at a time. <clears throat> it's all just connected. This will come out. Now, um, yours may be a little bit different. It's an automatic. But you can see, you know, this all just kind of comes up really easily. And we'll need to pull this back in order to slip it up and off of there, but <clears throat> this whole thing will start coming up. This will, will unscrew so we can just pull it, pull it off of here. And um, that's pretty much all there is to that. And we can just get, we'll get this thing lifted up off here. So I'm just gonna work on, I'm gonna need both hands to pull this back enough to slip this piece off. And then I'll just follow up here in just a second. Okay, I just wanted to make a note here. This first uh, console where the cup holders go comes out first, and then you'll pop off the shifter part. And now at this point, we've got a couple of screws up here. We're going to get those both out, and then we're going to get the two screws down in there and the console out. And then this whole thing will just lift out of here, I do believe. Okay, with those two screws out of there, we're just going to pull this out. <clears throat> and this is going to just kind of work with it a little bit. It's going to have a couple of connectors to it as well, but it just it snaps in here and you just have to kind of give it a little tug. Don't get get too rough and break anything, but it should it should pull out with just a little bit of tug in here. Okay. And at this point, I'm not going to disconnect this. Um, I think I can maybe leave it hooked up. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these two up here loose next. And I'll see. I don't believe there should be anything else, but we'll see. Okay, like I said, you have the two 8 millimeter. These are, these, all these here are 8 millimeters, or you can use a Phillips. And then same thing with those two back there. And this whole thing is going to lift out of the way. And actually, um, this is going to be good. We don't need to take this out. We're just trying to get it where we can get to those three bolts right there. And I believe uh, they look like 13s or 12s. We'll find out here in just a second. Okay, and these are 12s, and we just have the three, <clears throat> and um, you'll want to get yourself an extension, it'll make it easier. Now, we're going to have to also loosen this right here, because uh, this is what's holding um, the cable. Now, we'll want to also either make a mark or make a note, so we tighten it back down to where it is, you know, so we'll either count those threads or make a mark so that we put that back exactly the way it, that it was on the other um, emergency brake. So I think um, while these are these bolts are in, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and just take this off. And I do believe that's a 10. We're just going to go ahead and get that off because that's going to be the next thing. And there's also going to be the should be a little wire, maybe a little wire connected. I know it was on my automatic, but let me go ahead and get this off and then we'll get these three bolts out. Okay, so we just removed that nut. There was 
14 threads I counted so that's how I'm just going to put it back and count down 14 threads and I'm just starting on these 12 millimeters going to get these three bolts out now okay and with those bolts out this will just push down this cable and we'll just route it back the same way and uh, like I said we got be careful before you go to pulling on there there's a this connector I was talking about and just want to get in here close you just need to lift up right here and that will pull back off of there so you'll just pull up on that a little bit and we'll just pull that connector don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it one-handed but um, you can kind of see that just snaps over there and we have to pull that little piece up so it gets over that lip so I'm gonna go ahead and free up my other hand and get that okay and like I said you can see that cable with that um, threaded in just pushes down and out of there and we're just gonna loop the other one we'll loop it back up the same way okay here's our replacement and the first thing we're gonna do is just get our little threaded cable fed right back up through there and coming out the top there okay I just got my nut partially started there and I'm gonna jump over here and we're just gonna reconnect this and see it just slides right like that very simple so the biggest thing just make sure don't go to yanking on it and break that when you're taking it out and um, I'm actually gonna have to clear up my both my hands here I need to release this to get it to pull forward where I need it so um, at this point I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my bolts okay right now I'm just getting all these these three bolts back in <clears throat> and I don't know if I mentioned before but these emergency brakes are the same from a 2004 through a 2009 uh, this new one actually came out of a 2008 and said they're the same and it'll work so I'm just going to tighten these down and then I'm I'm just going to work on tightening that back down where do we, we need it to be, the 14 threads. Okay, and we're just using our 10 millimeter. Here we're going to start tightening this. Okay, and I've got it back to the spot that it was at, 14 threads. <clears throat> and now we're just going to work on uh, setting all this back into place. And this is uh, pretty simple. It just, you got these pins up here that have to realign. And uh, so just like that, and just snap in your sides. So we've got that, and now we just have to get our uh, eight millimeters in right here first. And we're just getting our two eight millimeters right back here in the console putting this back you see we've got the two clips go right in there just have to wiggle this just like that and then we'll replace our two eight millimeters that go right here And the next piece is going to be our shifter boot. And again, it, all these have little clips that go into their spots to lock in. And we just slide that back down and we'll just screw our shifter knob back on. And uh, now our next piece, we're just going to go ahead and get this uh, last one in place here and like I said it's pretty easy to get this one in it just it 
just snaps right back into place. We just have to kind of maneuver it over the top of our emergency brake. Okay, and with that, we've uh, successfully replaced our emergency brake, and it really wasn't that bad. Like I said, uh, we have a salvage yard, uh, pick and pull, and they have have these 50% off sales, and you could go there and get this thing for like 10 or 12 bucks. So <clears throat> it's a really easy way to fix it. Like I said you may be able to fix what breaks, but I guess it's quite common because I got on some forums and it seems to be something that happens a lot with these Mazda 3s this button something breaks and then and then you have no uh, emergency brake so if you live on a hill then it's really going to be a problem so it's definitely something that you want to want to get fixed so it's nice to have that um, and not just be relying on the gear holding this thing definitely not safe so uh, anyways uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hope that can help somebody out.